Hello from ChemHelp ASAP. Let's address a question. How does one make organometallic reagents? Since they are carbanions, let's think about doing a deprotonation. On the left of the screen, we have three hypothetical deprotonations, breaking a CH bond to make a carbanion. Some metal cation will balance the charge so that the product of these deprotonations is an organometallic reagent. The three deprotonations are for three different hybridizations of carbon, sp, sp2, and sp3. You may know that the pKa of the CH bond varies based on the hybridization of the carbon. SP, sp carbons have a pKa of around 25, sp2 carbons are around 40, and sp3 carbons are about 50. While these reactions look fine on the screen, it is very difficult to find bases strong enough to do these reactions. For the alkyne, we've seen that sodium amide is a base for making acetylides. Fine. For the other two hybridizations, however, we don't have bases that are strong enough to accomplish this chemistry. It's a bit of an oversimplification, but deprotonations won't give us access to most organometallics. We need, to the upper right, we need another way. The most common solution for this problem, for the sp2 and sp3 hybridized carbons, is to start with a carbon-halogen bond. Let's go with bromine. Well, let's, let's do something simple. A nice sp3 bromomethane. We will treat this molecule and its carbon-halogen bond with a metal. A metal in its zero oxidation state. For many metals, the metal donates its electrons to both the carbon and halogen, bromine, and we get a carbanion. Oops. We get a carbanion. Lone pair on carbon and a metal cation. Formally, we have formed our desired carbanion, an organometallic reagent, through a reduction instead of a deprotonation. So our other way is a reduction. The carbon has accepted electrons and therefore been reduced. The metal has lost electrons and been oxidized. Inorganic chemists sometimes call this reaction an oxidative insertion. Because they focus on what happened to the metal, unlike organic chemists who focus on what happened to the carbon. So we call it a reduction. So in summary, we cannot use deprotonations to make most organometallic reagents. Instead, we'll use zero oxidation state metals to form these reactive molecules.